So this is Athene after she shed her skin and she's looking really bright and shiny and new again. So the next part of this video I'm just going to show you her underneath scales and we'll see whether that little bit of scale rot has gone after she's shed her skin. So uh, without any further ado let's just get straight on with it and thanks very much for watching. As you can see near my thumb just above it that's where that sort of scale rot bit was and um, so yeah so that's the main part that's come off. Um, and her skin has been torn, but that was just me trying to get it out of the tank. Um, so there was another bit round here somewhere, but it might be a bit difficult to see. But yeah, she did have another little red dot, but that's been... I have seen that bit on here and it's gone. Um, so yeah, so that's the main... This bit here is the main part of her skin and I've checked all that over and it looks good um, there's her head so you can see the eye caps there that have come off which is good the chin bit as well so that's that bit and last but not least this little bit here I don't know how well you can see that but the tail tip is in the end of that little bit of skin I normally hold it up to the light to see whether there's like a little uh, tip bit in there and there is so there we go focusing now <laughs> so yeah so she's got all that off as well and um yeah that's great so that is her skin next to this flannel um in one well i say in one piece in a couple of pieces but uh yeah it's not looking too bad at all and uh yeah that's great so i have athene here and i'm just going to check her over so where my thumb is there that's where that damaged scale was as you can see along that line there's still a little dip in there but it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as it looked before so that is looking really really good and um, yeah, I'll just make sure her um, enclosure is humid and that for when she next sheds the skin. And uh, yeah, and she will hopefully get that last little bit off and everything will be back to normal. So yeah, she's doing pretty good and I'm really pleased. As you can see on that little bit of video that I just showed you, it's cleared right up. Um, there is still a tiny dip from where the scale rot was. Um, she's pulling my hair <laughs> but um, that should that should come off in her next shed so I'm going to make sure that when she's next due to shed her skin her humidity is upped again um, where is it Ugh. and I do use a damp cloth to up their humidity so they've each got um, their own flannel that I wet and I put in their tanks if the humidity is too low so each of my snakes has kind of got their own colour flannel so I know whose is whose. Um, but yeah I'm just going to make sure the humidity's um, up when she's next due to shed her skin although you know I don't have my humidity too high because that can lead to respiratory infections um, and also sort of bugs and things like that and bacteria tend to thrive in that sort of environment so it's just getting that fine balance just right so um gosh she's really still now <laughs> so yeah so she's doing good she's active as ever and um she'll be wanting her food next week so i'll be giving her a, a mouth This is just an update with Athene and she is doing good now so um, that F10 germicidal ointment is just really great um, and the other bits that I showed you in my reptile first aid kit you know I've used all those things the tamadine is brilliant as well so um, you know if you ever do come across any sort of mild scale rot just nip it in the bud and get rid of it with um, tamadine and the 
F10 germicidal ointment. So um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that, then just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, from myself and the squiggly Athene, it is goodbye. And we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> Crazy girl. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> so funny. <laughs>